Women in science and medicine experiencing cyber abuse for openly discussing COVID-19. She was merely doing her job. The Montreal scientist was asked to a Toronto radio program in November to discuss alternative testing methods. But things didn't go as planned. Mustok Mafshan, a scientist, urged care while traveling owing to the spike in COVID-19 instances. The presenter then said that if Mustok Mafshan ran the show, she would probably seal the border. MME Tokmafshan claims she froze when the presenter made the remark. The event finished minutes later, but Ms. Tokmafshan says the following 48 hours were a nightmare. Many of the abusive responses she received on Twitter and in her email inbox called her a filthy immigrant who wants to wreck the nation with lockdowns. In a pandemic that has polarized communities on topics like masks, vaccines, and lockdowns, famous internet scientists and doctors have suffered unprecedented online vitriol. Physicians and other health professionals who are being harassed online have recently been called on by the Canadian Medical Association CMA, to demand that the federal government and major social media firms do more to safeguard them. A research published in the US medical journal JAMA Internal Medicine in 2021 found that a disproportionate amount of women being harassed. Bill C-13, enacted in 2015, protects Canadians from internet crimes. The Protecting Canadians from Online Crime Act forbids non-consensual picture dissemination, authorizes courts to prosecute and compensates victims. But legal experts say the legislation misses a vast range of harassment and abuse. According to Ottawa-based psychotherapist Helena Fosu, employers may argue that they have no control over what occurs on social media, which may have a detrimental impact on those who are often targeted by such hatred. Sabina Vohrar Miller is co-founder of the Vohrar Miller Foundation, which promotes healthcare fairness. Unambiguous science was set up at the beginning of the pandemic to help people learn more about COVID-19 and vaccines. This made Ms. Vohrar Miller an easy target for online abuse. On Twitter, Ms. Vora Miller says she automatically deletes any remark that has even a whiff of hatred. MME Tok Mafshan and MME Vora Miller agree that continuing their work is the greatest defense. Better regulations and support mechanisms for victims of online hatred, they believe, will encourage women to remain on.